Hey guys, here with a new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is hero 149, Huanma Gangshi. I think it's known as Dead King in Chinese Lost Saga, and that's pretty much where this character comes from, from Chinese Lost Saga. This is their take on the Phantom in the Chinese Lost Saga. Uh, it's a regular hero. You can buy it with GP or Peso or what have you, so let's check it out here. So, four hit basics. One, two, three, four. Fourth hit will do a nice little faint status, and third hit pretty much knocks back a little bit more than the other two. Uh, so not too bad here. This will not lift off faint status, however. Uh, you can jump cancel each of the uh, basic attacks as well, so if you need to keep yourself a little bit safe from counter pressure, there you go. Works on every single attack in the basic schematics. <laughs> so not too bad on the basics there. So moving on to the whole D passive. This utilizes your 4 meter passive down there. Uh, when you trigger your whole D, you will float around briefly, and it will bring up a t targeting red kill on the nearest people around you. And if you let it go, it will rush forward and flinch someone. If you mash your D key after you let it go, it will do up to five hits, I believe, and faint if you connect all the hits there. I think the last hit is pretty much the only hit you need to faint, however. Uh, you can actually change direction in the middle of this as well, so... Uh, pretty interesting there. You can also dash in between after you start the attacks and off the dash You can actually press your light D key again and do a quick launcher. So uh, It works out really nicely as a juggle. It's a great homing capability. It does home in the air um, It does catch people in the air as well. So if you get a nice juggle going You can dash into it and loop it a few times so you can loop it up to four times if you're really quick uh, two times is very easily easy to loop, but you can get up to four times if you're very quick and have right position for it. Uh, so yeah, pretty good passive there, guys. I mean, you know, you got a great mix-up tool there, and you got some great pressure. So pretty good, pretty good. Uh, great anti-air as well, just like Phantom. <laughs> uh, so moving on, so your dash attacks, two-hit dasher. First is a nice long knockback, and the second hits a pop-up that launches them towards you. So you can see that's a nice knockback on that one. And you got good range on this pop-up towards you as well. It gives you plenty of time to juggle as well. Uh, so good dasher there. And the second part will hit grounded, but fortunately it doesn't pop up any more than uh, what it probably should. <laughs> It'd be pretty OP if it did, though. Um, you, you can also use your whole D while dashing. And it doesn't do homing capability. It just rushes forward. Uh, but you get the same effect overall, so not too bad. So moving on to the jump attacks, jump attacks, three hit jumper. Uh, if you connect the first two hits, they are, uh, let's go ahead and get the big robot out since dev cage is so short. It's hard to actually land that. Uh, but the first two hits, you can see it's a half fainter on the first one, half fainter on the second one, and the third one's kind of a half faint flincher. If you connect the first two ones, let me go ahead and try to get this. Derp. Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't get it again. All right, get away from me, robot. You stole the initiative. Okay, let's focus, guys. Okay, okay, it just whiffed him. There we go. Finally got the faint. Uh, so yeah, it will give you a faint if you connect two basics. Other, but if you connect the second hit and the third hit, it will not faint, unfortunately. Uh, that would be pretty good if it did. Uh, so pretty nice there, pretty nice. Uh, you also have your whole D in the air. Once again, it's the same as the passive pretty much uh, on the ground. It's the same effect on any any version of the passive, except, you know, you have the better potential to air juggle off that. And you can cancel with your first two uh, jump attacks in order to go into the whole D as well. So sets up for some uh, great combos. you got to be careful about the, <laughs> the two-hitter in the air, however, because it will knock down very fast, so it works very strangely if you can't get that going properly. Uh, but yeah, I like to do one, and then I'll do uh, uh, my juggles and stuff and go for that. So pretty good, pretty good. Let's check out the defensive properties down here with Huan Ma Gangshi. Uh, get a regular human looking one. One, you got to deflect, so I'm actually deflecting pretty darn well today. Uh, maybe I'm not so newbie after all. <laughs> uh, no recoveries. Uh, you have your armor, which will work as a invulnerability kind of thing. Uh, pretty nice. I do believe you still take damage, it looks like, however, so let me double check on that. Uh, let's go ahead and double check that. Some things I don't get around the testing, guys. I'm just so eager to get the video done because it's late at night and all that. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like you still do take damage, but, you know, you can attack back and not get flinched or anything. So, 
Not a complete damage shield, but pseudo damage shield. No anti flint shield. So maybe on to the weapon skill. Weapon skill. You go into a little aura pool and then you rush rush down someone, uh, put them in the whirlwind swing, similar to pro wrestler. And you can aim this. You can stop it prematurely. It's a little bit a lot harder to aim than pro wrestler, but you get the nice uh, toss up and drop damage kind of fall. And you can trigger it in the air as well, so you can catch someone off guard. Fortunately, that's probably lag sensitive for you non Korean or non good server players. <laughs> um, you know, maybe Z8 game server is not too bad. It's just the way the games ran. It's not PDP, peer to peer. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, decent weapon skill there as long as it works for you. Uh, armor skill, once again, you get that invulnerability anti flinchness, but you also get a speed boost off this. So, the speed boost is pretty significant. And you may get a few other things from it as well. I'm just not sure uh, what the extent of the buff for that actually is. Uh, helmet skill, rush forward. Start biting someone's neck as long as you mash your D key. Um, if you connect with all the hits on this one, it will actually faint. So that can be a nice uh, combo resetter um, for a nice uh, you know ground pickup and everything. So pretty good there, pretty good. Not too bad. Suck their blood and everything. Might have a little bit of la life type properties. I'm not too sure about that though. <laughs> I guess we can double check it real quick here. Yeah, it definitely does do some life taps because I did heal myself a little bit. So not too bad there. Not too bad. Uh, trinket skill. You attach a beam to someone. If you don't mash it, they will fall to the ground. But if you do mash it, they will get shocked and fall to the ground with shock status on them. So pretty good here. This does hit an AOE as well. So if you have a lot of people around in a certain vicinity, you can shock them all and knock them all down. So pretty cool skill there. Pretty cool skill. And I'm pretty sure this uh, lifts off grounded. So yeah, definitely a ground lifter there. Kind of interesting that no faint off of it though. I might have missed something with this skill. It's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see. Nah, no lifter off that. So that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, uh, Hwanma Gengshi guys. Um, pretty decent character actually. You know, it doesn't look too complicated on the surface. I mean, uh, your bread and butter thing is obviously going to be that passive, that four meter passive hold D. Um, because you have a lot of great mix-up tool tools behind it. It's your go-to juggle and everything. Uh, you know, you can also, you know, pressure with the jump attacks pretty decently as well. I mean, it has good knockback on it. You know, it's pretty safe to actually do this as well because he doesn't have too much landing delay. Um, you know, his dash attack is pretty darn decent with the knockback. It's very quick, has very good range, you know. Uh, doing that can be very abusable and set him up for some easy juggles and everything. Uh, and great anti-air. Again, he's got the phantom style homing in. And once you anti-air someone with this, you got him in a nice combo and everything. So, uh, very good character. Very, very solid, you know. Uh, the Phantom, eat your heart out, Phantom. This is ba this to me is basically the Phantom's evolution. <laughs> this is what Phantom should be. Uh, even though Phantom has a really great stun on him, it's lag sensitive for most people, I think. Um, so it ends up being a waste. And you know he's relatively simple on the surface. Phantom is so. Juan um, Mangengshi, relatively simple on the surface as well, but has some great combo potential and. Uh, great quick attacks and safe things about him. So good thing, good stuff with this character. Good stuff. A little bit lag sensitive here and there, however. So that's the one thing you're gonna have to keep in mind with the like the weapon skill and everything. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next video. <laughs>